Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, appreciate the Kuwaiti oil company uh, to let me do uh, the pilot for the soil remediation plants. Uh, and in fact, that the second pilot for me and the first pilot I had done with the KMBC Kuwait National Petroleum Company for the soil remediation as well. Uh, today, we received the uh, samples uh, from the KOC, uh, which is the heavy oil contaminated sand. They brought it from uh, the Kuwaiti oil lake, the one we just seen it now. And today, I would like to explain in detail regarding for the soil remediation method and what is the environmental method that I'm that we are doing here in the site. Uh, in this case, we are applying the soil washing methods, which is environmental method because no any chemical used for the soil washing uh, for the soil washing method only water. And the reason for the water use will be explained in detail later. Here we are controlling the motion of the tank regarding for the angle uh, of the washing of the tanks. For the time which takes for the soil washing, it takes only two hours to separate the oil from the sand. Uh, now, after two hours, the oily wastewater and the treated sand will be uh, go from the discharge from this pipe to the sand separator system. And by the separator system, sand separator system, the oily wastewater and the treated sand goes uh, from or throw this pipe to the hydrocyclone, okay, which allow to separate the sand from the waters. Uh, so the water will be goes back to the tank and the sand will be go from this pit. And then the oily wastewater will go to the flocculation and coagulation tank. That's for the oily wastewater treatment. So the oily sludge will be settled down by using alum and the treated water will be goes back to the tank to reuse it again. That's the oily sludge we had uh, generated before from the KMBC, you know, uh, in last April. Today, we'll show it to you back again how is the process goes for the soil washing method as well. Now we'll start uh, the process. So the oily wastewater and the sand will be discharged from the machine to the sand separator system, which is going to be shown now after the next show. Not switch it on until it's jump. Yeah, okay. I told you before there is no hydrocycle. But now with this one, you see. Water out, uh, then uh, we'll let the water go to the oil way. You see the oil, sir? On top of that, how much is it? Yeah, 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 yeah,
most of oil is separated. Yeah, yeah. yeah? This, this is yeah. how it should be. Yeah. yeah. And uh, like, to be honest, uh, in the This is the floating oil after the separation of the clay, uh, sand from oil and this is the floating oil sample. You can take from there inside. In the shoe are the floating. So the next the next step actually should be to quantify. Yeah. yeah. Input, input and output. Input and output. Yeah. So how much oil you have recovered? Yes. And uh, well, how much the oil is not easy, you know? I know, I know. It take two days. Yeah. So roughly. Yeah. Yeah. Roughly, yeah, yeah, roughly. Yeah. Yeah. roughly. No, no, I mean, if we do another sea by this machine, again, okay, because the oil will agglomerate again. Yes, it will, definitely. Yeah. Now we send the water to the oily waste water treatment tank. The water will be sucked by this one, send it to the treatment tank. Okay. So, so we'll have only sand. Sediment left there, yeah. okay. Because we know some of the water yeah. goes with the sand. Now switch on this one to take the water. So finally, uh, after that, we Yes, this one. Okay. PSW uh, analysis. So we will check for uh, the remaining water and um, uh, solids content. That, uh, yeah. And uh, we'll give you an idea. How much percentage oil you have? Exactly. Uh, and uh, so we, we will check for that, and uh, then we will see. Uh, so if the output material is, is, is clean, clean oil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would be beneficial for for kerosene uh, yeah. to, to sell that material yeah. to cement factories, for example. Yeah. As we explained, the process now. Uh, is completed so we are doing now the second batch for the oily uh, for the oil contaminated sand right now we stop everything we will start or the flocculation process to treat the oily wastewater treatment if you see this device we call it flocculation and coagulation machine we will, yeah, we will use alum, aluminum sulfate to neutralize the organic compounds and the oily wastewater and allow the oil to be settled down and the water will be recycled. Now we are using the aluminum sulfate as a coagulant to destabilize uh, the oily particle. <laughs> Okay. 
okay? The oil is sludge. We'll send it here to take it by gravity, and the water send it to the tank. You see this hose? Yeah. That's the type of the oil is sludge. This is your pipe or bio product? Yeah. This is my And what you are, yeah, yeah. yeah. What Actually, you are planning to do yeah. with it? This one? We, yeah. also, this we, we, uh, we try to just trying to make a cake yeah. and give it the fuel to the glass manufacturing company where we need very cheap fuel and also... Amplify? Amplify yeah. or, uh, you know, yeah. many other like paper factories, glass yeah, yeah, factories, yeah. they need very cheap fuel. Okay. Do they, what they are using as a fuel? One is the environmental yeah. issue of disposal. Second yeah. is economical for them to reuse as a fuel. Do they need to change or modify the those? Nothing. Nothing. It is very simple fuel, yeah. just like. This is the fuel. Very 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 small amount. I'm 
Assalamualaikum. Just now we have tested this sample from KOC and it's a high hydrocarbon content sample. We very successfully completed the first batch and it's uh, giving us the very promising results and low hydrocarbon and uh, I myself feel uh, it's a successful test and we'll wait for the analysis and the test results from the KOC and the third party lab but it looks promising to me and it's a good progress and it's a good technology. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Mr. Abdul Karim.